Hello and welcome to the somewhat unfortunate village of Digby and its church dedicated to Thomas a Becket in Lincolnshire. I say unfortunate because of two rather large events, one that happened 75 years ago and another that happened 425 years ago. It's a small village with a population presently of around 500 and there are two other Digby villages that have been noted. One is in Victoria, Australia, and that Digby was actually named after this village. And there's also a Digby in Nova Scotia, Canada. So it's truly global. The church goes back to Saxon times and the evidence of this you can see here in the long and short masonry seen outside the southeast corner of the tower. This crocketed spire and the clear story are later additions from the 15th century. The lower stages of this tower are from around the year 1200. And if you look at the east wall of the tower, you can see that it was originally narrower than the north. However, the north arcade inside is not much later than that of the tower. Moving on to the somewhat unfortunate events in the little village of Digby, we can go back 75 years when it was hit by a worst disaster since the plague and we can talk about that later. The entire village was stricken by a polio epidemic and during the outbreak 97 cases were diagnosed and there were 13 people who died as a result. Some of them were adults but they were mostly children. Many of those who recovered were crippled and at one point even the village doctor, uh, Dr Thomas Smallborn of Ruskington, contracted the disease. This is a fine example of a carved zigzag unmistakably Norman doorway. The whole epidemic lasted 11 weeks. The village of Digby was voluntarily isolated as a precaution and the milk was delivered in wax packets rather than glass bottles to avoid contact with the 375 villagers. Inside the Sedilia, Ormbury, two piscinas, they are from the late 13th century and the arcades are from the 14th and 13th century. Both arcades are of three bays. This chancel was rebuilt by Charles Kirk, a rather notorious chap who carried out restorations in 1881. Provisions were left at the edge of the village or the garden gates for collection. In fact, a 20 mile ring was placed around the village The plague, which began in 1603 in London, was the first of the 17th century and marked the transition from the Tudor to the Stuart period. The first recorded cases of the bubonic plague were shortly after the funeral of Queen Elizabeth and it spread like wildfire, rising through the country, eventually descending on the small village of Digby. I have done the mathematics for you here and looking through this list we can see that in the period 1604 to 1605 there were nine marriages, seven christenings and 140 burials. That is half the population were killed. More notoriously in the country is the village of Eam where a third of the population were succumbed to the bubonic plague 60 years later in the 1660s, but they lost only a third of their population. Half the population of Digby were wiped out. 
a very sobering thought. As you look to the bottom of the list in the turn of the new year, you will see less burials taking place and more commonplace church activities. Here we can see a minor Jacobean pulpit. Thank you for watching this short film of St Thomas the Martyr in Digby, Lincolnshire.